Hello friends, my name is Ritu Sachdev and today here we are going to learn various border properties and shadow property for our boxes or divs in our websites by using CSS3. Friends, before we start, let me show you the final output what we are going to learn. See here I have three boxes. The first box is, contains radius along with it and the second box is having shadow with it and the third box is having some image on it as a border. This all has been done with the help of CSS3 property. So let's learn how I have done it. I have already opened Adobe Dreamweaver CS6. You can use any coding software you like. Let me open an HTML document. First let me save up this file. I am saving it in my local folder. Let me give a title to it. Working with borders. Now, let me first insert a div. Say I have inserted box A. As my div. Now, let me come to the head section. I am using internal style sheet for this document. Let's have property for our box A. Let's have the width. To be 300 pixel height C again 300 pixel floor left. Let's have a background color to be yellow. Now, let me have border of say 3 pixels solid color red. Let me save up this document. Let me preview. See, this is a very regular box which we have created with our regular CSS properties. Now, let's apply some radius to it. Say border radius 15 pixels. Let's save up our document. Let's reload it. See, now I have rounded border now. As my border contains radius of 15 pixels. I can give any radius I want. Say I want border to be 50 pixels. Let's save up our document. Let's reload it. See. The radius for the border is increased. Now what if I give 100%. Let's save up our document. Let's reload it. See, our box has been converted to circle as I have given the radius to be 100%. Just again, I am making it 15 pixels. So, this is all about border radius. Now, let's learn shadow property for the box. Let me just Copy and paste it all again. And let me make my box A as my box B. 
Now let me insert box B now. Now I will use box shadow property. See 10 pixels, 10 pixels and 5 pixels. Let me add a prefix before it as we are using CSS3 properties. So we must add a prefix before it. WebKit for Chrome and Safari. Let me just copy and paste this property again. Let me have prefix for Mozilla Firefox also. Again pasting the same property. And let me have margin between both the boxes. So I will have little spaces between them. Let's save up our document. Let's preview. See here. Now my Second box contains shadow. Now let me go to the source code and explain you something. Here I have specified 10 pixel, 10 pixel and 5 pixel. This is what box shadow works on X, Y and Z. It means how far from X axis I want my box shadow to be. So let me change the 10 to be say 40. Let me save up my document. Let's reload my page. See, the box has been pushed to 40 pixels from the x-axis. Now, let me undo. Now, let me give 40 px to y. Now let's reload our page. See, now from the y-axis, box has been pushed 40 pixels. Now let me again undo and let's change this third value, see the results. See here, the third value gives some feather effects to the box shadow. How much pixels I will specify, it will give feather effects to it. So let me press again undo. I have made all these changes to explain you in WebKit box shadow as I am using Chrome. But you should have changed it everywhere, Mozilla and for all the browsers. Now let's proceed to border image. Let me just copy and paste it again. It's box C now. Let me insert box C. Again, I am copying and pasting just to the box B. I am specifying box C now. And let me change border to be 15 pixels solid and transparent. Now let me have border image. Here I have already saved up my image. Let me press OK. Save 30, 30 round. Now let me add necessary prefix for all the browsers. Again, WebKit for Chrome and Safari. Let me just copy and paste the property. Now for Mozilla. Let me save up my document. Let's preview in a browser. See now I have an image on my border. Let me remove the background color so it will be more visible. Let's reload our page. See now the image is much clearly visible now. 
Now let me make this round to stretch. Let me make it everywhere for all the browsers. Let's save and let's reload the page. So, when I reloaded my page, my border has been changed to stretch. Now, when I was learning about border image, I have found very interesting website that generates very attractive border for our boxes or divs. Now let me tell you that borderimage.com border image generator here I have few options top offset right offset bottom offset and it is just giving me the code which I have to copy and paste it it is also using all the prefix sim moz webkit o for opera and the last one is for all the browser here i have vertical stretch repeat border size left border right border stretch let's make it round from horizontal and vertical from stretch so left offset be this. Now I'm just copy and pasting the code we have generated for the border in our document. And then let's see what happens. I'm just replacing border properties from the code we have generated. Let's reload the page. See now here I have border which we have generated right now. So this is how you can play with it I notice here one more thing guys the border image property does not works on Internet Explorer 10 or earlier version so this is done friends and if you want to learn these subjects directly from me do contact me do subscribe to me have a good day